Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see one more uh, program in Python that is to find the super digit of a given number. So first let us see what is this super digit and then we'll see how to find this super digit. A super digit of a given number is nothing but a sum of all the individual digits and we have to repeat that until the sum becomes a single digit number. For example, so if it is 5, 6, 7 is a number. So if you add this one 5 plus 6 plus 7, which is nothing but so 18, which is two digit number. Again, we need to perform 1 plus 8 is equal to 9, which is a single digit. So this will be the super digit of this particular number. Right. So sum of individual digits of a given number should be a single digit. So we need to repeat that process until we get the sum as single digit. For example, if you consider, so 1, 2, 3 and 4. So sum of individual digits is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, uh, which is nothing but uh, 7 and 10. So it is two digit. Again, we need to perform 1 plus 0. So we'll get 1. So 1 will be the super digit for 1, 2, 3, 4. And here 9 is the super digit for 5, 6, 7. So we need to repeat the process. So here what to do to find this super digit. So first we need to find the sum of individual digits and we'll check whether the sum is greater than or equal to 10 because the two digit numbers will start with the 10, right? So we have to check whether the given number is greater than or equal to 10. And if so, once again, we have to start the same process. So we need to use the nested loops, right? We need to use the nested loops, right? So let us check. Let us check the code. So in order to find the individual digits, okay, in order to find the individual digits, we need to apply the mod operator. So we need to repeat the process until the value n should be greater than zero. So until the n greater than zero, we need to repeat the process. And what we have to do, we have to find the reminder. So that means a mod operator. So if you go with the mod operator, we'll get the individual digit. So let us take r, a reminder r is equal to some n mod 10. For example, if n is a 5, 6, 7, n is equal to 5, 6, 7. So r is equal to 5, 6, 7 mod 10, which will give 7 as a reminder. So that means individual digits, individual digit. So this will give the individual digit. So what we have to do, we need to find the sum. So sum is equal to sum plus r. So initially sum value is not there. So we'll, we'll uh, assign a sum value as a zero. So sum is equal to sum plus r. So we need to add a seven here. So in, initially the sum value will be seven here because r is equal to seven. Now we need to reduce the number in order to find in the next iteration, we need to find the second digit. So we, need, we have to reduce the number. So what we have to do? So we have to divide the number with a 10. So floor division of 10. So if you use this floor division of 10, the number will be reduced. So for example, here n is equal to 567. So 567 modulo, I mean, uh, floor division of 10, which will give the number as a 56, 56. So if you use the floor division, we'll get the quotient as a result, right? Quotient. If you use a mod, we'll get a reminder, reminder, right? So you can observe here. So this process will give the individual digit and this process will reduce the number. So just remember these, these concepts should be very clear because in many of the logics, we, we are going to use these things. Okay. If you, if you use a Armstrong number, if you use a reverse of a number, if you use a finding of individual digits, if you use a, uh, uh, sum of all the digits so we'll use the same process same logic so if you apply the mod operator with 10 we'll get the individual digits and if you apply the floor division we'll get we'll reduce the number okay we'll reduce the number now we need to check this one again here so now n value is 56 56 greater than 0 yes so once again reminder will be there so the next reminder will be 6 sum will be 7 plus 6 and n value will be 5 because 
56 floor division of 10 right now again 5 greater than 0 remainder will be 5 and sum is equal to sum plus so here it is a 5 and sum is equal to 7 plus 6 plus 5 now n mod this one so 5 floor division of 10 which will be 0 so 0 greater than 0 it will stop so now what what about this sum so sum is 7 plus 6 plus 5 so 18 so we need to check so it is, is it an individual digit no it's a double digit that means a greater than or equal to 10 so we need to use the same thing here so why okay you just assign this sum to one more variable sum x is equal to sum okay x is equal to sum and here you just apply x greater than or equal to 10 and n is equal to x okay so you have to repeat this process complete this process until the value less than 10 so you are applying again the x value that means this eight this 18 value this 18 value to n so sum is equal to 0 now n value is 18 right 18 greater than 0 true reminder so the reminder will be 8 now sum sum is equal to 8 and n is equal to 18 that means 1 18 floor division 10 now 1 greater than 0 so true 1 mod 10 1 plus 1 right then sum is equal to sum plus r now n is equal to n mod 10 now n is equal to 0 now right 0 right so this is false n is equal to 0 this is false so x is equal to sum so x will become 9 here x will become 9 now 9 greater than or equal to 10 false then come out from the loop and here we will print the super digit so super digit super digit is what is the value here sum or x whatever it may be you can simply give here so automatically we will get a 9 so once again I am repeating so mod operator will give the individual digits floor division operator will reduce the number so you need to use these two things and finding finding the sum so after getting the value simply you have to check whether this value is greater than or equal to 10 if it is if it is greater than or equal to 10 repeat the same process changing the n value to this particular number so that's why I have taken some x is equal to sum and I am checking whether x is greater than or equal to 10 if this is true I am assigning the x value to n and repeating the same process okay so this will become until the digit the x or the sum is a single digit that means less than 10 right so I hope you understood this super digit that means a sum of all the individual digits of a given number and we need to repeat the process if the sum of individual digits is uh, uh, more than one digit again repeat the same process until you get the sum uh, sum of the digits as single digit that means a less than 10 so now let's stop here and uh, just move on to the system and i will show you the implementation of this one so that your doubts will be clarified now let's move on to the compiler hello friends so just now we have seen the logic for finding the super digit so first let us implement that so let us read the input so n is equal to int of uh, input enter value so n will be the input and now we need to find the sum of digits until the sum becomes 1 so first i will write the outer loop so while n the value of n is greater than or equal to 10 so until it becomes true it will be keep on iterating so in that uh, just i will copy this n to one more variable and finally i will give the sum as 0 and now i will find the sum of the internal thing so while x greater than 0 until x greater than 0 we need to repeat that so first of all we need to find the individual digit so reminder is equal to r mod 10 so that we'll get one uh, individual digit so we have to add that particular digit so i will go with the sum is equal to sum plus r sum plus r so that it will add the individual digits and then we need to update the number so x is equal to x mod 10 uh, sorry x floor division 10 and finally just pass 
the sum value to n so in the next iteration the n value become the sum of the current product right some current current digits now finally we can print the sum so that we'll get the individual digit right so super digit for a given number is sum so in the sum we are having the single digit right so we have seen the theoretical part so that you have you have understood what exactly this one right i am executing here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 oh sorry r is not defined so let us take uh, r is equal sorry here it is r is equal to the number mod 10 will give the reminder so yes 1 2 3 4 5 6 you can observe here you can add this one 6 plus 5 11 11 plus 4 15 15 plus 3 18 18 plus 2 20 20 plus 1 21 so this loop will give the 21 as a sum and you you can see the sum value is not in single digit so we can we, we will assign this into n so n, now n becomes a 21 and again you you have to iterate the same thing so that the next one 21 2 plus 1 it is a 3 so we got a 3 as a result once again if you execute this one so 1 3 5 7 9 so you can observe here 9 plus 7 it is 16 16 plus 5 uh, 21 21 plus 3 24 24 plus 1 25 so in the first iteration it will be 25 now the 25 will be assigned to n value and we will iterate once again so 25 so individual digit in sum of individual digits that is a 2 plus 5 it gives 7 so super digit for a given number is 7 so a super digit is a value which is a sum of all the given i mean sum of digits of a given number until the sum becomes a single digit okay so hope you understood this one if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much